Right, first things first, I've got 50 grams of salted butter. And look, it says no, trust me, I weighed out 50 grams. So <laughs> it took me so long, it went off. Now it won't come back on with 50, but this, never mind. There's 50 grams of salted butter in there. Now the garlic there, look, there's about a tablespoon. And as you can see at the back there, I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of garlic and minced it and ended up with that, which is, I mean, the uh, parsley, there's a tablespoon there. So there's roughly the same. So if you say a tablespoon of each, and 50 grams of butter. And the first job is mix this all together. So that's what we'll do now. Right, as I said first, we'll mix these together. We don't want them bits in, do we? Let's get this in here. And get the garlic in. Obviously, we're throwing them away. Right now, just get a, a fork and mix it all together. Now my butter is still a little bit cold. I may have to let this warm up slightly, so. I'll have a cup of tea, I think, and I'll bring you back when I've done it. Right, that's about got all that mixed in now. Actually, I didn't need a cup of tea. That mixed in all right, it's okay that is. So what we do next, We've got the cling film there, look. I think you can see that on the camera. Just put this out. And then, I'll spread it out a bit. Oh, it is still a little bit. It's a bit awkward. Um, right. We've got that in there. What we need to do is like roll this up. I've seen this done. Whether it works or not is a different thing. I mean, I don't know. Should I be doing this on the camera? I don't know. All we need, look, is a little sausage shape. And then we'll put that in the freezer. And then when it's nice and solid, we can put it in the chicken. Chisel the ends a bit. I don't want it coming out. I think that's about the right size. Right, are we happy with that? That don't look too bad. Right, let's put that in the freezer and then I'll bring you back when we're ready. Right, now I've brought you back because you need a hole in the chicken. And this, it's not quite thawed out yet. We've got a bit of time, we're nice and early. So what we were wondering, you can put the knife in there now while it's not too soft, just to make a little hole. Trying to be careful not to go right through, so we're only in that far at the minute. Now, I don't want to push this too much. I don't want to ruin it before we start. Right, I think that'll do. Now, what I will do, I think when it's thawed out a bit longer, let's see if I can get the knife in here. Oh. I think what we'll do, because this ain't going to work at the moment, I'm sure. But uh, when that's thawed out now, hopefully, yeah, it's still too solid. I'll get my finger in there and um, I'll be able to open it out without splitting it. That's the idea. Ooh, this is too slippery. It's slippy in your gloves. I know that. Yeah. I think that's as much as I dare do at the moment. As I say, it's not thawed out yet. It's still a little, a little hard in there. So what we'll do, we'll leave it at that for the time being. And when it's thawed out, we'll have another go. I'll bring you back. 
Right, hello everybody. Now I can't remember what stage we're at because this morning I made uh let's have a look at this. This morning I made the um garlic butter to go inside here. Now I think I'll probably show you that first. I'd like to think so. But uh anyway what we're making Sorry, what we're making is a Kev. I'm a bit all over the place, ain't it? It's because we've been making a cake. We've got to get on with the dinner now. Mm -hmm. But what I've done, I've put a, a little knife cut in there. I'm just trying to make the old, just so I can get the butter in. And I don't want no naughty comments from you, Paul. <laughs> this has got to be done, mate. <laughs> I don't know whether that one's, that's a different sort of, Mm. I think that one might have come through. I hope not. I hope it's not. Mm. I think it has. Yeah. Oh, blimey. It, that's a good shape, that one is. This one's not so good. Right, so I'll have to try and remember to stand that one that way up. Um, right, uh, I'll have to get back to you now because my garlic butter is still in the freezer. Right, we've got the garlic butter, and this has just come out the freezer. So can you unwrap the end for me? So I've got one of my gloves. I'll put my gloves on. I'll put my gloves on. Hey, oh, we've got a finger stuck now, look. Oh, dear. Right, what we've got to do now... Is there a present in this? Might be. Right, I think we'll get as much in this one as we can because uh, I think that one's going to leak. Ah, got me. Oh, it's not... Yeah, I didn't... I wrapped it up really yeah, well, but it's not did. very easy, is it? Right. Well, we'll just stand here passing the time till when you can get this undone. I should have done that, shouldn't I, before? I think, I think the it. idea is get it in while it's frozen. We don't want no plastic on it, do we? Oh, dear. Not really. I don't even know how I've wrapped it up, but it looks like I've wrapped it up pretty good. <laughs> oh my God, come here. Oh, I, must be all right. I must be all right touching it, so no, just give it, it me. There, done it. Right. <laughs> now this is this is a cigar, right? One in somebody's mouth, look. Oh, what can I do? It looks... You don't look out wrong with this to me. I don't know what you... Can you get a knife and just knife? cut that down there? I, like I don't want to touch problem. anything. I've got garlicky fingers. That one? Just, I'll pull that back a bit, look. <laughs> Not like that, look. I'll pull that back. Look, just cut it there. Don't fall about. As near as you can. There? Straight, straight. There? Yeah, go on. Mind your fingers. Oh. Yeah, I'm worried about everything. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to shove that in there, look, like that. You don't run off, you've got to do another one. I've got a piece of fingers. Stop shouting at me. Mm. <coughs> oh, that's, that's, I think this one's messed yeah. up. I really, oh, look, it has. Yeah. Now, I don't know what we're going to do with this one. Right. The only thing is. Unless I make another hole. Wrap it up. Let's try another one. I'm not happy about that now. That's not gone right. Let's make another hole there and try and get underneath. I mean, I did it while it was a little frozen, thinking that would be better, but now we're not so yeah. sure. Oh, God, I'm like James Harriet. <laughs> no, this one, I don't oh. think this one's having it. That garlic butter, that all smell, doesn't it? It doesn't it? I mean, they do tell you don't burst through, but oh, it has. It's still coming through. It's too thin. It is too thin. It's the only thing I can think is wrap it up. Look, um, it's going to spill out, that one is. Well, at least mine will be all right. Yeah. <sighs> right, yes, now it. the idea is... We just put a little bung in the end of that, but it ain't going to work, is it? So what I'm thinking, mm -hmm. we'll just snip a bit off the end there. 
can just fill that up. You have to give that plenty of coating. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to... <clears throat> that needs holding together somehow. I've got some cocktail sticks. I might have to do that. Mm -hmm. But you need to... But how are we going to do that when it's... Yeah, I think get, you need to coat Cast me a first. couple of cocktail sticks now. I think you're yeah. going to have to do it now because... Actually, mm -hmm. let's cut that end off. Let's see if I can block the end off a little bit. It probably ain't going to work, but oh, there won't be much we can only there. try. <laughs> well, this is yours, it doesn't matter. <laughs> right, we've got that in there. Oh, I don't think this is going to be very I successful. I think you should put cocktail sticks in after you've... you've um... Yeah, but then I'm handling it. Oh, Give it a minute. Okay. Well, I've seen one bloke do this and he says how clever yeah. he is. And he did it before like this. But I'm not I don't know whether he no. is clever. Oh. Give me another. I think we might need another one and all. Okay. I feel a bit like a surgeon now. I tell you what, you won't want me doing any operations, would you? I should have got the needle out. Oh, is it gonna hold together? I've got me down. Oh dear. Well, at least you get people watching all this time. Look, that bung's oh, fell yeah. out. Have you Even the it? bung's falling out. It just ain't big enough, look. Mm -hmm. Can you give me another one? I think this is going to leak all mm. over the place. <clears throat> It'll be tasty. It'll still be tasty. I'm going to end up with a stick in my finger here. I can see it. Mm. I think we should put that other bit in the in the freezer because you could try it again with a larger chicken. Yeah. It's not playing this thing. No. Having all sorts of trouble. Now the one that's bigger, and so the, there's the first bit of advice. If you're gonna do this, make sure you get a decent sized piece of chicken because I've got to be honest, that's pretty rubbish that is. I mean, I've no doubt it'll taste all right, but that one, that seems to have worked. I don't know whether we need a plug in there as well. A stick, no, I'm happy with that. Right, that's that stage done. Can one day, can you turn the, yep. turn the camera off? Look, I can't <laughs> touch anything. Right, we've brought you back, because we've got the flour ready, just plain flour, with a bit of salt in it, and smoked paprika. Um, two eggs in here and we've got breadcrumbs uh, these are just natural breadcrumbs but I don't know we like them panko breadcrumbs they were really nice but we've not got them so what we've got to do then get this in the flour first I, I can use it yeah, yeah. You, go on then you do it then I don't have to touch it do I unless I did already Right, I can turn that around now, well can't I? Yeah. Let's just get this. Mm, it's coated, really. Mm. Right, then we're yeah. going to inhale. Mm. This yeah. one's behaving a lot better, definitely. Mm. Then in the breadcrumbs, mm. can you uh, scoop breadcrumbs around? I've been busy today, you know. Yeah, you can come around if you want. I know we're getting his own way here because the camera's in the way. Hold up. Right. I mean, Does that just, look? Yeah, that's all right. I'll just turn it over a bit. Mm -hmm. Right. So what we do... Double dip. We double <laughs> dip in. So back in there. And Wendy can use the spoon. Is that over enough? Yeah. Going to do a turn. Yeah. I'm going to roll it round now. Mm -hmm. Put some on it. I hope I haven't got my big nose in front of the camera. We might have done there. No, oh not dear. now. Not now. I've moved. <laughs> right, back in here again. I know it's a bit more effort, but I think this will pay. Because we've done this before, haven't we? And it does make mm -hmm. a difference. Right, back in here. We're not going to have enough breadcrumbs in Can I bring it over here? I'll just... Uh... Yeah, go on, take it over there. It's just making it hard, because obviously we're in the way of the camera. 
I can't touch nothing. Got my gloves on. That'll do now. I can mix oh, it up. I'll tell you what, it's like lot watching paint dry, isn't it? Because you're mm. not in the camera right, and I'm not turn. there now. Put it back on here and I'll do it. I'll knock it out your <clears> hand <throat> so I don't want to lose my tea. No, is that yours? Yeah, they told you it's mine. Oh. Right. Now, to me, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. And it's... I can see the other one. Your oh, bum, look, it's bum's, coming undone your there. Your bum's coming out. What's that? That's... Oh, we're going to need a stick. You can want a stick? another cocktail stick. Yeah. I'll tell you what, let's turn this off and I'll come back to you because I think the next <laughs> one's going to be a right fiasco. Well, I think that's what they want to see. <laughs> well, I hope that sticks when we fry it, but yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I think right. you need a bit more bread crumbs on yeah, that one. Can you just turn this off? Yeah, we'll do. Come back. I can't do anything. Right, I've brought you back. We've got the cooker here, so... Let's get this switched on. We'll get the oil warmed up and I'll bring you back. Right, I've brought you back. There's not really you can notice, but I've dropped a couple of bits of breadcrumbs in and that looks about the right temperature now. We don't want to burn it. And I've reduced the heat down to number five. So what we've got to do is get this in. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. Get them both in like that, and they're cooking away now. Four minutes at these. So we've got a little belly. I'll put that on the four minutes. So we've got a rough idea. I'll keep my eye on the clock, but that wants about four minutes before we turn it over. Just now, hopefully. This is going to seal it up. And this is the only way we're going to find out, isn't it? I hope it does. Well, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. If it goes wrong, it's sure it's leaking out. I'm, yeah. I'm worried about you. It'll be mine. Mine's fine, then. Mm. Let's see how we go. Yeah, we are trying to do the cake earlier on, and... No, we weren't doing the cake earlier on. Anyway, mm -hmm. we were cooking earlier on and there a ring at the door <laughs> and we didn't know what it was. And when mm -hmm. he went to the door and this bloke stood there and he got his official tag on and he says, oh, I'm just here about. And when he says, no, thank you, I don't need any. Oh, you shut the door. I think that's the only way to go on. God knows what he wanted. I hope he weren't telling me we'd won the lottery or something, but I don't think so. Not yeah, round here. Three. Not round here. They always want something off you, don't they? Right, so we're going to give that four minutes and I'll turn it over. So I'll bring you back. Right, we've, we've had it four minutes and as you can see, I've turned it over and so far, that's looking pretty good, isn't it? I mean, the whole idea of this is to try and seal it and to give it a bit of colour to the breadcrumbs. I mean, Really, I think it'd be better using the panko breadcrumbs, but we've not got them, we've only got the ordinary ones, so that's why we've done it. I mean, you, you still do this, mm. even if you've got the panko, but anyway, mm. we'll start with four minutes again, but we're already out, and I'll bring you back at the end. Mm. Right, that's had another four minutes, so we should be good to go now. We're looking pretty good like this. One is chucking everything on the floor, make the video a bit more interesting, I think. I don't know whether it, it's a good job you can't see the floor, I think they were more chips. Yeah, but she ain't got her chicken yet, mate, don't worry about it. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, let's turn that off. They only just fit in there, though. Mm. Well, good job that goes in the air fryer. I'm sure it does. I'm going to be in trouble if it don't. Uh, let's get you. Let's get you on here. There we go. Right, let's get this in. Right, let's turn that off. Oh, that's just got that in there. Now, get it switched on. I can't because I've not plugged it in. 
Oh, yes, I have. What's happening? Turn it on. No, I haven't plugged it. Oh, I've got the wrong implement plugged in. £4.81 we've used. Well, that's not too bad. I'll take the £4.81. £4.8. pence. Four point eight pence we've used on the uh, induction oil. Oh, what am I talking about? Right now, switch this on. That's better. Now it works. Um, yeah, one eighty, and I think we're going to need a good twenty minutes. I'm going to put twenty five, and then I can keep my eye on it. I think that's the best way, to be honest. Right. I'll bring you back when we have a better look, but you can't see the gauge, can you? If I forget a lot, it's just gone over onto 5p. So we've used 5p nearly on the induction arm. Right, we will have a total at the end. I'll bring you back. Oh, I've brought you back because these have had the time. I've got to be honest. But can you hear them sizzling? You probably can. Can you smell them? I can smell them. My God, they <laughs> smell of garlic. Nobody mm -hmm. going to come. We're not going to get any vampires chasing us tonight. <laughs> well, only in your dreams. Only in your dreams anyway, Graham. Um, I'll tell you what, this breadcrumb's pretty good because you can't, you can't stick mm -hmm. the probe in. Let's try it. Like, just there, this one. Yeah, I'm, run, just I'm running the risk of getting it all. Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. We've reached temperature, we knew we would. If anything, I'd say we've a little overcooked them, but mm. we're a bit paranoid, ain't we? So mm. let's try in there. Yeah, look, yeah. way over. So we're more than happy with that. Right, let's get it dished up. And then I'll bring you back. Right, try and get some light on the job. Now there's, there's our dinner, and to me, they look fantastic. Can you hear them crackling? I don't think you can, but I, even I can. I'm a bit deaf. Actually, let me try my new technique, look. This is what our Ava's teaching me. <laughs> this is what you do, look. It makes <laughs> things look really fantastic. <clears throat> How old is Ava? Ten? I think yeah, she's she ten in she? yeah. Oh, no, she'll correct me now. <laughs> anyway, she's been giving me lessons. I know how to use my camera. No, Sorry about that. With our old oh, there's, there's too many kids in this family. Know. Go on then, when they wants to tip a bit of this, this juice thing. on top. So we'll do that. And uh, we'll get this out. Ooh, and if I'm still alive, we'll come back to you. Ooh. This, I know, I know Kievs are about, you get a thousand for about 20p in Iceland, but I don't think they're going to taste like these. And I'll tell you what, before we eat it, I might pull my cocktail stick out. Oh, anyway, yeah. No, no, for God's sake. Anyway, that's enough from us for now. I'll come back to you. Right, I thought, we haven't shown you, have we? So... That's what it looks like inside, look, just sliced it in half. Now, to me, <laughs> I can smell it as well. It looks fantastic, smells fantastic. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to eat it in peace. I'm going to come back to you. Right, I know that this is a Victoria sponge that we've just made because the weather's not been fantastic. But we've done this half in the air fryer and half in in the cassori oven air fryer oh we're gonna tell him oh. when did let the cat out of the bag no Lee, that's Lee, all right Lee. i don't know i don't know whether you'll be able to tell but the oven one rose a little more uh anyway that's another video we're just gonna slice it up now because we've not tried it and i thought i'll stick this on the end of the video mm. if one wants to cut a piece i'll tell you what though i'm not gonna let her taste it you're yeah. going to have to wait for the next video. <sighs> That's the only way, isn't it? Hey, is this how it works? I've no idea. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, yeah, they right. broke the knife. Let's hold a bit. Oh, let's see. Is it live? Hey, that looks all right, doesn't it? That looks all right. Right. We'll have to watch the video then, see what it tasted like. Right. Firstly, 
and most importantly, don't use cocktail sticks. They snap off inside. Whether it's when I rolled it, I don't know, but Wendy found small parts in hers. Yeah, I tried to choke her, it didn't work. So don't do that. Don't use the cocktail sticks, it's bad advice. As for the chicken Kiev, well, I've never had chicken Kiev like that before. Oh mate, they were so nice. And that double dipping, it was really crunchy and nice. And the chicken was really, oh dear. I don't know how to explain. It was so moist and you could taste it. The garlic butter seemed all right. So, oh, we're more than happy with this dinner. I tell you what, give it a go. It was well worth it. And if the video has been of any use to you, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to get back to me, I'll get back to you. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.